Take everything out of the area you're about to clean or cover it with plastic. Now that we're well protected, we're ready to help Elizabeth clean the mold off her bathroom wall. First, we spray the wall with water. This will prevent the mold spores from becoming airborne. Then wipe the area with wet paper towels or an abrasive sponge using a cleaner like Clorox soft scrub. Make sure to throw out the paper towels and sponges in a trash bag. When you're done, rinse the area you cleaned with water. Ray, I'm getting it. It's coming off. It's coming off. As you can see, Elizabeth has to scrub pretty hard, so be persistent. It will come off. You can scrub mold off other areas of your bathroom using the simple cleaning method too. It works well to get rid of black mold between tiles, around the edges of the tub, and on shower curtains and walls. Even though we've cleaned the mold, it doesn't mean the problem's fixed. You should go to your building management to request repairs. If nothing's done promptly, call a building inspector who will order the landlord to make repairs. Uh, in New York, it's HPD, Housing Preservation and Development. And how can I reach them? By calling 311. Okay, these are the pictures I've taken showing where exactly the majority of the mold is settling at. For any mold that's unsafe to clean, you should take pictures and date them for your own legal records. There's also a possibility of going to housing court. And what if I don't have money for a lawyer? Well, there's legal aid, which offers free assistance. Okay. You can also ask a community asthma program to meet with you about your problem. Okay. If you have bad mold and aren't getting any help, you must protect you and your family. Wow, look at that. Starting here, and, and we're gonna have to move this as well. What you can't clean are areas of black spots growing on the paper covering of sheetrock that has been severely water damaged. Other dangerous mold is white and powdery and grows on plaster. Start by vacuuming the area, if possible, using only a HEPA filtered vacuum cleaner. If you don't have one, or can't get access to one, don't vacuum. You don't want the mold spores flying into the air you breathe. If you don't have a HEPA vacuum, you can spray the floor with water and wipe the residue. Now that we uh, vacuumed as much as we could, uh, we're gonna place a, some poly sheeting over. Uh, the affected area with duct tape. This is a temporary solution. The mold will grow quickly under the plastic, but at least it'll be away from you and your family. When mold cleanup is handled by your landlord or building management, it's up to you to make sure they're taking care of the problem correctly and safely. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Now that's a little bit imposing looking, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what we would uh, call um, dense, visible mold growth and covering a pretty big area. Make sure that both you and the workers are protected from contamination. They wear protective suits and respirators. The space being fixed should have what's called a negative air machine within the plastic barrier. All the debris must be safely disposed of. Well, the occupant explained to us that it's already been painted over several times. Never let anyone come in and paint over bad mold without first finding the source of the moisture and repairing it. Paint is like food for mold, and it makes it grow faster. Uh, there is a paint that can be used in this type of a situation, a paint called Foster's 4020. Other paints claim to be mold proof, 
But this is the only one I know that really is. This is a nice looking place, right? Yeah, it is. I hope you learn how to take control and tackle mold. It's important, and when done properly, cleaning up mold will make a huge difference in not only how your place looks, but how you feel. I'll leave you with some important phone numbers that you can call with questions about mold. 